Hi my beautiful lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have this super easy, super quick and ultimate classic Christmas makeup look to share with you guys. And I'm totally obsessed with the whole idea of this makeup look because this is super easy and still very very effective and i have paired this makeup with some red lip as well and you can go with any kind of lipstick you want because this makeup look pretty much goes with any color lipstick so if you would like to see how to get this makeup look then please keep watching so i'm starting off with murad city skin vitamin c moisturizer and i'm getting that all over my skin and two to three clicks of cream is just enough to distribute all over the facial skin and yes this is a night cream but works same effective as day cream as well and then taking milk makeup cooling water gel stick and i'm rolling that all over my skin especially under my eyes to wake up my dull skin and add some freshness For primer, I'm grabbing Iconic London Prep Set Glow Hydrating Spray and this is in the shade Original which is a perfect champagne glow and I'm giving my face a very drenching spritz of that and it gives a beautiful hydrating glow to your skin. And then for lips, I'm grabbing Galactic Rose Petal Lip Serum and I'm applying that all over my lips to hydrate and make them smooth by the time I put any kind of lipsticks and then for foundation i'm taking anastasia beverly hills stick foundation and fenty beauty matte sticks and like you have guessed one is lighter shade and one is a medium shade so first i'm going with the fenty beauty medium shade i'm drawing random lines all over my face and then i went with the lighter shade from abh and drew lines on top of that medium shade and i'm concentrating this mainly in the center of my face for the extra brightness and highlighted effect because this is holiday season and there's no crime in wanting a extra brightness and highlighted skin and once i apply those stick foundations i then took a stippling brush from loris and buffed everything into my skin very neatly i then grabbed my beauty sponge to blend in the under eye areas now moving on to the eyes first i'm taking this highlighter shade called prime preparer from charlotte tilbury walk off no shame luxury eyeshadow palette and pop that onto the brow bone and tear duct area as a gorgeous highlight shade and then grab this glittery shade called pop schnizzler and brush that sparkle all over my eyelids leaving space for crease now taking these two shades together called enhanced rehearser and smoke ombre and i'm working that onto the crease as a nice deep transition shades and i'm also deepening up the outer v of my eyes to add a bit of a gradient to the whole eye makeup now taking pinky rose eyeshadow stick in the shade jazz and i'm running that along my lower lash lines as a very shimmery smoked out look and then to set that in place i'm taking these two sh shades together and pack those colors along the lower lash lines with a precise angled brush Taking Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Smoke and I'm getting that into the inner corners of my eyes to add a bit of a sparkle and shine to the whole glam look. First I actually applied with the brush but brush cannot do anything so just use your fingers for a more sparkly pigment. Now taking Urban Decay Perversion Liquid Eyeliner and I'm drawing a line along my upper lash lines to make the whole eye look kind of thick if that makes sense because I need a thicker looking lashes if not this kind of makeup looks look flat if you don't add darkness in any form. Now taking NYX Eyeliner in the shade Black and I'm using this to tight line my upper and lower water lines. All things must pass. For mascara, I'm first taking Buxom Lash Volumizing Mascara and I'm working tons of layers onto both my upper and lower lashes to get that bold feathery lashes. 
and then i went with urban decay perversion mascara and i apply that only to my outer part of the lashes for a more falsy effect lashes and if you are a big time follower of me then you know that i don't like to wear falsies much so yeah now to set the base makeup in place i am taking bare minerals mineral well loose setting powder and i'm using my laura mercier powder puff to press the powder all over my face and this powder is super duper finely milled so it sweeps away the shine on your face while keeping the much needed glow and brightness in place for my brows i'm using my trusty nyx eyebrow powder pencil in the shade espresso and i'm first brushing through my brows to see where i should fill and where i should not and then fill in the areas neatly with the pencil side and then i brush through them one last time to remove any excess pigment and make my brows look soft and natural and original To set my brows in place, I'm taking my L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Plumper in the shade Claire. So this is a Claire brow gel because I don't want any more color for my brows, but I want them to be in place. So I use this Claire brow gel to make my brows adhere in the direction I want them to be. Now coming back to the face, first I'm taking this bronzer shade from Coastal Sense Blush and Bronze Palette and I'm using a contour brush from Loris to get that onto the perimeters of my face to make my face look small and healthy and then I followed the natural shadows on my face and applied the contour powder to make my face look super sculpted and chiseled. For blush, I'm taking these two blush shades together from the same palette and I'm dusting this higher up onto my cheeks towards the cheekbones and temples to lift my face and give my face a youthful look and glow. I then sprayed my beauty sponge with some setting spray and then dipped that sponge into my highlighter and the highlighter I'm using today is Skinny Dip from Zoe and I'm popping that onto the high points of my cheeks and look at that glow. I'm totally and utterly obsessed. You just literally need a one or two dips per area and you will end up having this super super poppy and juiced up cheeks and then i also applied that highlighter on to the bridge of my nose just above my brows my forehead and not forgetting the good old cupid's bow and the chin areas and i always use the damp sponge to make the powder highlighter run super creamy than settling in powdery now moving on to the lips first i'm taking mac lip liner in the shade cherry which is a beautiful ripe raspberry red color and i'm carefully lining my lips following the natural lip line of mine and as you can see i'm holding the pencil in a certain angle and i filled in my lips halfway through and then i'm taking smashbox always on liquid lipstick and applied that all over my lips so this is a burnt red color and it goes beautifully and sits on top of that cherry liner perfectly and it's the perfect corally bright red that i thought would be perfect for this look but then I took my MAC lipstick in the shade Ruby Woo and applied that all over my lips. And this is the perfect kind of holiday clam red color I needed for this look. Now with all this redness on my lips, my face is looking pale. So to bring back the flesh of color, I'm taking the pink blush and getting that onto the apples of my cheeks. Now it's time for some jewelry. I popped champagne gold colored jewelry just to go with the whole champagne theme makeup. And then I realized I needed some darkness in my eyes. So I took a creamy pencil that is easily blendable and ran that along my lower lash lines. And this, you guys, is the makeup look complete. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this classic Christmas makeup look with perfect red lips. Please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. To be notified every time i post a new video and the button is just right here on the screen and also like this video if you do and i'll see you guys very soon in my next one bye